Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we get started, we want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rukha Kadash. Secondly, we want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, we want to give salutations to all the alchemists of the hopeful elect that laboring for this word and this truth and righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 my brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And pretty much, um, I'm going to title this, uh, and this right here is going to be pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Morning wake up. You know what I'm saying? About to go ahead and get myself prepared to go on my goddamn plantation. <laughs> All right, you know. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Before I do, you know what I'm saying? About to do a little quick, quick, you know what I'm saying, quick listen, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like a quick hitter rather than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? And seeing everything unfolding and just seeing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let the scripture speak for me. I ain't gotta say nothing. Let the scripture speak for me. You know what I'm saying? Romans uh, 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Seeing everything that's taking place. Seeing the chariot sightings. You know what I'm saying? More and more chariot sightings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah visiting this earth. Uh, hearing more and more about food shortages, all right, that's taking place. You know what I'm saying? You know, now, you know, you know what I'm saying? You heard in the news about shortages on baby formulas, you know what I'm saying? Shortage, you know what I'm saying? Um, on, on women tampons, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, also you're seeing what more and more rumors of war, you know, you're seeing um, Jamaica be the first country to pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You know, with the tender going um, with the digital currency, all right, you know? So everything is, is, is leading to your how about your mouth shot visiting this place, man. Visiting Babylon, putting bringing judgment to Babylon, man. You know what I'm saying? So like the scripture said, going back to Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? You know, ain't no, ain't no time to be having your mindset in this world. You know what I'm saying? You got you got one priority, man. That's one priority is serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day, man. And doing the will and doing the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And our purpose is, you know what I'm saying, to go out there and give that warning, man. All right? That's what we're commanded to do. Go out there and give that warning to the nation of Israel. And we only, and we only looking for the elect at that because we already know two-thirds, you know what I'm saying, is going to reject the message of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because they're stiff-necked people. They're rebellious people, man. All right? This is our job, man. We supposed to be waking out of sleep, man. Our mindset, like I said, I'm supposed to be in this motherfucking world. I'm supposed to be all up into your woman, all up into your goddamn kids, all up into your goddamn job, et cetera, et cetera, at the end of the day. Not to say that, you know what I'm saying, you can't, you know what I'm saying, can't be a husband or can't be a father to your child, anything of that nature. Nobody telling you to neglect your uh, everyday duties, but you got to remember what your number one purpose here, that Yahweh Shem Shah brought us here. Yahweh Shem Shah brought us here on this earth you know what I'm saying? To go out there and prophesy and do the will of your house, Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day. Give that warning, man. That's our number one priority. That's supposed to be our number one love at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right? Doing this work and doing the will of your house, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now the rot is out. You know what I'm saying? We be worthy, you know what I'm saying, uh, of mercy from your house, Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right? You know, and be worthy of brothers of God families, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, the brothers of, certain, uh, of the hopeful elect. Hey, man, the, the households can be delivered, man. All right? Like I said, you can't get salvation through your damn woman, through your damn job, through your goddamn kids, man. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah come before everything else, man. You know, that's why we present our body as a living sacrifice at the end of the day or whatnot, man. We don't even, you know, we deny what things that, that, that we want to do or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's sake at the end of the day or whatnot, man. That's just, that's just being transformed from out of this world at the end of the damn day, man. Because, you know, the people, you, your family, they look at you like, damn, he don't even come to family functions anymore. It's always about the work. It's always about the brothers. He, it seemed like he put the brothers before, you know what I'm saying, his own family, you know what I'm saying, the brotherhood. He in a cult, in which they don't even understand what a cult is, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, <laughs> at the end of the day or whatnot, you know what I'm saying. But this right here just going back. The Romans 12 and 2 because you're supposed to be transformed, man. So they, they ain't gonna know that new man, bro. They, they ain't gonna know that who that new man is or whatnot. And that's being that's part of being that's part of waking out of that damn motherfucking sleep, understanding and measuring the times and and, and, and understanding, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey man, this, this place, this place Babylon, about y'all about your about to bring serious judgment, man. And we ain't wanna be we ain't wanna be partakers of the two-third club at the end of the goddamn day, man. We're looking to be delivered from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We're we're looking for salvation. 
nation, man. All right, we, we, we're looking to be joint ass with our big bro, Yahweh Shah, man, at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know, and you can't do that if you in the goddamn motherfucking world. You have the mind, you, your mindset, your mind is constantly in the motherfucking world. You constantly want to please the goddamn fucking flesh, and you know what I'm saying? You have to be transformed, you have to be renewed. That's the real definition of being reborn, man. All right, you know, being reborn, becoming a new creature. All right, your, your family, your friends, don't post to recognize who you were, man. You probably when you in the world, you probably, you know what I'm saying, doing doing simple ass shit, <laughs> being in the world, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, participating in goddamn silly ass family functions, going to, you know what I'm saying, uh, up there, family reunions, up there, hey man, you know, I gotta visit my family, man, Thanksgiving, you know, the whole family come down for, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. Hey man, a lot of my family, man, they ain't seen me in, in goddamn, motherfucking years bro you know some of my family ain't seen me in years man almost a damn you know about five six seven years some of my family members ain't seen me bro you know what i'm saying you know once you know what i'm saying I, i'm walking up to the knowledge and the truth hey man a lot of shit i ain't participating in man you you know you start to be a loner man you know what i'm saying you know you don't participate in those pagan ass fucking holidays man when when when, when i realize and when i understand and i woken up to the fact that yeah, how about Shemal Shah, man? He don't respect these damn pagan ass holidays, man. That, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shemal Shah? He gets angry when you see Jake all putting their spirit all into these fucking pagan ass, uh, heathen, he, heathenistic fucking customs and shit, man. All right, you know? And, and, and once I realize that, you cut that shit off, bro. You know what I'm saying? You cut that shit out, bro. At the end of the day, you, you transform from that, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, going back to Romans 12 and 2, man. I'm about to bring it, bring it, uh, about to bring it home, man. But going back, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, man. Yeah, and Yahweh Shemash can do whatever he want to do with his sacrifice at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right? And that's what we got to do. We got to sacrifice the things of the motherfucking world. Like Tripp said, man, the fashion of this world faded away at the end of the day. The fashion of this world faded away, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, a lot of... A lot, lot, lot of family members, man, a lot of your friends and shit of the world. Man, your true family is a, is a brotherhood at the end of the day, any damn way. But, people, but, but the people that you knew in the damn world, that you consider family or friends or what have you, a lot of them ain't gonna motherfucking make it, man. A lot of them gonna be destroyed, man. A lot of them gonna, you know, gonna take the MOTB, man. They gonna take the chip, man. All right? And that's another main prophecy, you know, which I, you know what I'm saying, which, you know, we always prophesying great millstone. We always prophesying and giving that warning. You know what I'm saying? You know, now the, the MOTB, to the C, to the H, to the I, to the P. Man, it's here, man. It always been here, but it's getting closer to the way Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? He gonna implement it, and, and, and he, gonna, he gonna put no mandates like he put no mandates on the goddamn fucking jump shot, man. See, it, it, we right there around the corner, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and that's part of what? Giving that dad gonna warn it, man. Part of knowing the signs, y'all about your shot returning, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Part of also, most importantly, you know, you examine your goddamn self, man. All right, you examine yourself while you in this faith, man. All right, you, you have to constantly do that, man. All right, examine yourself, man. All right, you know. Uh, Romans 12 and, um, 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. So you, they become new creature, renewing of your mind, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? We're looking to please your how about you, how we shot, man. We're not looking to please the world. We're not looking to please our fucking family and friends or doing things that they feel should be acceptable or things of the world they think we should be involved in because they, cause they going off a of tradition of fucking men at the end of the goddamn day. Nah, fuck that, man. We're not involving ourselves in that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? When we knew you, how about you, my shot? When in them damn churches, we, hey, man, we cut that shit out, man. We're going to no fucking church and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, nah, we're not, like I said, participating in no goddamn, hey, man, you know the family, we getting together for Christmas, man, we, we, ain't, we ain't participating in that bullshit, you know, you how about you, my shine with that, bro, you know what I'm saying, we realize, man, you ain't supposed to eat no goddamn fucking pork, no lots of no crabs, crab legs and shit, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, catfish, you know what I'm saying, we ain't supposed to be eating unclean creatures at the end of the damn day, unclean food at the end of the day, man, hey, man, we cut that goddamn shit off, man, all right, we ain't supposed to be lining our heads up and, 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 and lining our beards up, man, we cut that shit out, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, our number one job at the end of the day is serving your Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah, man. Doing the will of your Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know? We sacrifice the things of the fucking world. We sacrifice the things of the world and and, 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 uh, and, and sacrifice the, the lust of the flesh for your Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah. We cut that shit out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once we realize who we were and once we came to the knowledge of the truth by I, I seen our teachers, I, I seen the men of the Lord pursuing back to Isaiah 30 and 20 and 21. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? We trimmed that motherfucking fat, bro. We became new creatures, man. 
And that's the fear of your how about your shot because we truly believe, we truly have faith, man, at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right? And we don't give a damn with our family, with our friends. We don't give a damn if we have to lose our family, have to lose our friends on this damn side again. Your how about your shot is it's easily said and done. It's easily said and done, but then it's necessary at the end of the goddamn day. That's part of that fiery trial. It, 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 if it comes down to that, then it's so be it, man. That's, what, that's what's, that's what's got to be done at the end of the day. We can't let nobody. You know, take our crown of life at the end of the day or whatnot from your how about your mouth shot. Nobody can get in front of that, bro. Let nobody take your crown, bro. You know, and that's the mentality, that's the mindset we have, man. All right. Uh Romans 12 and 2. And certain brothers will be tested in that manner, man. All right, you know. Because your how about your mouth shot say he come to bring what? Division at the end of the day, man. All right. And we gotta have like a cold mindset, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we already we already know and we already locked in. Hey, we're gonna receive losses, man. All right, we're gonna receive losses. You know what I'm saying? To gain your how about your mouth shot at the end of the day, man. All right, you know? We have a hey, how about your mouth shot have to try us, man. We have to be found worthy at the end of the day or whatnot. Your how about your mouth shot, man. All right, somebody who still in the damn world, still care what the what the family, what the friends think about them or whatnot, or the woman, you know, put stipulations or whatnot. Hey, you need to spend more time with your family, man. I'm tired of you going out every 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 Saturday or Friday or days of the week, brothers go out. On the highways and byways, I'm tired of you spending so much time in that Bible and this and that. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, certain brothers gonna be tested like that. Hey, when that test come, hey, she she give that she give that she give that ultimatum, so to speak. Hey, man, you know either me or you know what I'm saying on the scriptures. Then you know what I'm saying. Hey, bye bye, man. Hey, how about your mouth? I got women reserved for us anyway, and we don't need no goddamn fucking woman to get saved from to get delivered any damn way, man. All right, woman need a man, a man of Israel, and not only a man of Israel, a man of the elect. Or you how about your mouth? Shot to get delivered at the end of the damn day, man. So we ain't, we ain't about to fucking put our faith or uh, put our hope in this motherfucking roller and your damn woman, your woman, or your family, your mom, dad, or kids or whatnot. Give you ultimatum uh, of that sort. Hey, man. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. You know what I'm saying? All right. It, uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's what it is, man. It's about serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. It's about pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day, man. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah like to be praised at the end of the day, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna end with. Uh, end with this scripture right here all right end with this scripture all right because the because the, the more the more the, the more closer we come you know what i'm saying to the end man all right the, the more we supposed to be fucking turned up man the more your fire is supposed to be turned up at the end of the day all right uh baruch uh 4 and 28 for as it was your mind to go astray from your howl so yeah because we hey, we always in the world at one time man all right before we woken up Going back to Jeremiah 17 and 4, we discontinue from our inheritance, man, at the end of the day or whatnot, man. But you how about your mouth shot stir up our pure remembrance by by the way of seeing our uh teachers, you know what I'm saying? That's great millstone, that's the elder apostle, great millstone. All right, you know what I'm saying? For me and many other brothers, man, that came before me, all right, and brothers that came after me, man. We seen our teachers at the end of the day or whatnot on the highways and byways and prophesying, man. All right, you know, and bringing and bringing and bringing, you know what I'm saying, the remembrance back to us, man. All right, or who we were, man. All all right, uh, Jeremiah, I mean, not Jeremiah, Shalot, Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. So, you're supposed to be seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know what I'm saying, 10 times more, man. You're supposed to be turned up, man. All right, our mindset, our mind's supposed to be always meditating on prophecy at the end of the damn day, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? And that's a mindset we're supposed to keep, man. All right, meditating in prophecy, man. All right, always constantly praying, man. Throwing those prayers up at the end of the day. You can't, we can't pray enough, man, at the end of the damn day, man. Especially with the wickedness, you know, our scripture tell you our righteousness is counted as filthy rags, man. So we're supposed to be praying all the goddamn time, man. All right, but, you know, um, I ain't even meant for this listening to go, go that long. But anyway, man, I got to go ahead Head to work, head to the fucking plantation, all right? Uh, did my first job, did my first work first, doing the work of your how about your with shot. Now I'm gonna go on my second job and do my second work, all right? Unfortunately, all right? But hey, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get out, you know. Hey, hey it's the curses, man. We still up under the fucking curses. And hey, man, we're looking to get our daily bread at the end of the day, man. But we almost up out of here, man, all right? We almost up out of here to the power of your how about your shot. We almost out this wicked ass fucking place man we almost out of hell man that's where we at we in fucking hell man all right we in the belly of the motherfucking beast man but we almost up out of here though man and with that i want to say you know what i'm saying shalom shalom to the hopeful elect shalom